hey, if you're short on cash and short on space, here's an alternative to cabinets. Let me show you what I mean. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. You know, when you're thinking about shelves, and the reason we're thinking about shelves is, well, we don't have the money for cabinets, but I've got lots of things to store. And the mudroom is a place where a lot of stuff gathers. You know what I mean? You have certain drawers in your kitchen where everything piles up and gathers. Well, the mudroom is a room where everything piles up and gathers. So I'm anticipating that. We don't have any money in the budget to buy cabinetry to go in there. So what I'm gonna do is use some of these totes and baskets. And what I did is I found one that I really like, and this is the largest size that I will use. This means that once I put shelving in there, if I base it on this dimension, which is about 16 inches, is long here. If I create a shelf at 16 inches, this will fit up there nicely. And that takes into account the slight bevel that you can see here. So the top of it extends a little further than the bottom. So you have to account for that. So the shelving that I want to put in this room, you can see I've started this little drawing. And this is basically the east wall of that room. Here's the door that goes outside. And what I'm thinking about is bringing a shelf that would run all the way across here and then another one that would come in under it like this. I may want to put a broom closet right here, just a little one foot cabinet with a door so we can hide the mop, the broom, a bucket, those sorts of things for cleaning the floor. So what this would do is give me a shelf here and a shelf all the way across the top here. And then I'm looking at a bench that would be seat height that would be right here that would be movable, that I could actually store things under it. So I have shelf one, shelf two, and shelf three for this wall. Now in this space from here to here, then I can use this for pegs, for hanging coats and jackets, because there's gonna be a lot of coming and going through this door, and people wanna hang their coats up here. This wall over here affords opportunities, even though you've got this odd angle. What I wanna do is come across here with three shelves, one of them here would come out to 16 inches, also one here and then one up here. And then I'm just gonna let them die into this diagonal, which will afford lots of shelf space up here. Again, using baskets and totes to conceal what's up here. Now what I'm gonna use for these 16 inch shelves will be one by pine, it's the least expensive. I'll probably go with a number two grade. I'll do eight inch boards, two eight inch wide boards will give me just about what I need. And we'll do some wood brackets. We'll paint it all white. It'll blend with the trim of the room and it's gonna look great. And there'll be tons of storage in here. If you're enjoying these updates, check in with us regularly. We're about to start the decorating. And subscribe to eHow Home.